What's up my meatballs, it's Aaron and Mar. Welcome back to some more Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. Last time we escaped from Monstro and then we headed back to Traverse Town in order to make sure that Geppetto and Pinocchio were okay and we actually received the Wishing Star Keyblade. So, this time we're going to be heading to the world we intended to head to, which is this one. So let's go ahead and do so. So here we've arrived at Atlantica, so let's go ahead and disembark. Okay guys, prepare for landing. Land where? In the sea? We'll drown. Not with my magic we won't, just leave it to me. Sebastian? Ariel, wait! Slow down! Don't leave me behind! <laughs> oh, relax, Sebastian. They don't look like one of them. Right, Flounder? I don't know. There's something weird about them. Uh, <laughs> uh, what do you mean? They do seem a little different. Where are you from? Uh, we're from kind of far away. And we're not really used to these waters. Uh, <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, I see. In that case, Sebastian can show you how we swim around here. Ariel, King Triton will not like this! Oh, don't worry. Easy for you to say. Okay, it's time to learn how to swim properly. You use the left stick to swim, press circle to rise, and uh, square to dive, or at least time to stop rising or diving. Practice swimming with Flounder. Alright, to begin. So we've turned into this weird, I, I want to say merman thing, but we've got a fin, so I want to say we're like half dolphin. And then Donald over here is, what is he, let me see. He's like uh, half octopus, and freaking Goofy over here is half turtle. What are you doing all the way down there? Alright, so we wanna fly it, fl fly around, swim it to flounder using uh, circle and square. This is really, really boring because all you're doing is you're just trying to find flounder, and half the time you can't even find where he's at. Sometimes he'll be higher, sometimes he'll be lower. And the controls really don't warrant this kind of, uh, this kind of movement, I guess. Where, where is, there he is. Uh, this, I mean, they don't, the controls really don't warrant this kind of a tutorial because it's really simple. Square to go down, circle to go up. We really don't need to be, you know, having all of this, you know, spending five minutes. Because, I see, it just goes on and on and on. It's ridiculous. Alright, let's go down here. And there's the last one. There we go. Oh, job! No, let's move on to self-defense! Sebastian! Eh? Yeah? <laughs> All right, so now we have to defeat some underwater heartless here, and we've actually got the wishing star now, like I said before. And it's not—it's actually I usually don't use the wishing star on this world. I'm still usually using the three wishes, so it's actually pretty neat to be using this uh, this keyblade in. A world, a different world, because I don't usually use the Wishing Star. All right, so now Ariel's come back, so we need to open up uh, Mr. Mr. Shell here to get Sebastian and Flounder. What do you? Come on, examine it. Hitting it might open it. All right, so let's go ahead and hit it. 
It opens up a save point. Awesome. Those creatures chased us here. Oh no, those monsters might be heading for the palace too. We better head back right away. But what if we run into more on our way back? I'm sorry, but we need your help. Please come to the palace with us. The trident markers on the walls point the way there. We won't get lost as long as we follow them. Okay, let's get going. Alright, so now we have Ariel added to our party. I'm gonna go ahead and replace Donald this time. Oh no, Donald. There we go. Because I used Goofy, I replaced Goofy last time with Aladdin, so we're going to use that. Alright, so let's go ahead and activate that. And we can go ahead and follow the trident markers, like Ariel said, to get to uh, the palace. And that's where I guess Ariel's father is. All right, so we're in Atlantica. This is what this world is called. This, this world uh, is, I wouldn't call it confusing. Um, well, I feel like I'm bragging on every single world calling it confusing. But I mean, in reality, they really kind of are. This world, there's a lot of not knowing what to do and where, how to progress. There's little little text tidbits that tell you, you know, that hint at what you should do next. And so I guess you're supposed to follow those, but because there's no like, hint in the game or if there's no character that will consistently tell you where you should be going it's kind of difficult and this place is kind of confusing uh the only place that you know isn't confusing is how to get to is uh the palace because we have the trident markers everywhere leading us there so basically if you're if you're new to the game remember everything in relation to where the palace is uh because that will help you because you know if you can get back to the palace okay and then you know how to get from to somewhere from the palace then you're, you're golden because, you know, you can get there. Uh, eventually you'll, uh, I don't know, enough playthroughs and you'll learn where uh, everything is based on... Oh, come on. What is this? I, I never even know what that was for. I mean, we need to hit us into it. Uh, but basically you'll learn where everything is eventually uh, with enough playthroughs or enough practice. But for the moment, if you can remember everything in relation to the palace, then you should be okay. All right, let's head through here. All right. Oh, we got these mushrooms. I can't pass up an opportunity, but oh no, I can't pass up an opportunity. Oh, I can't. Never mind. Actually, I shouldn't do this. Sorry. Um, I'll take the magic it gives me. But we will do this later because uh, it involves, like I talked about previously, one of the new final mix enemies, and I don't want to discuss those until the time is necessary. So don't worry about that yet. All right. So there we go. Come on, quit, quit hitting. There we go. Alright, so now all we should be doing is heading right into this hole. And this leads straight to, well, I'm not going to say straight to, but it leads to the palace. So, Triton's Palace. And we will be able to head, head to the actual uh, castle gates here in a second. I wonder if you want one of these, because these are uh, pretty annoying. They're, they swim pretty fast, so they'll follow you everywhere. Alright, let's go. Gosh, we swim so slowly. We'll get a move that lets us swim faster. But we get it, like, so late, it's not even worth it. They should have opened up with it. But I guess it, they kind of couldn't because it, it's sort of story-based. You get it when they're ready for you to access the area, so... I don't know, I feel like they could have done it, though, because you swim just so slowly. I mean, you always have, you know, like, dive roll and things to help you move faster when you're walking. But, uh, swimming, it just takes a long time. All right, so let's head through this way and into Triton's Throne. That was too close. As long as I have my Triton, I will not tolerate those creatures inside this palace. Daddy? Oh, Ariel. When will you listen? It's dangerous out there. Um. Strange creatures lurk outside. <coughs> Behold, you swim before the ruler of the seas. His 
Majesty, King Triton! And who are they? They helped us fight off those creatures. They don't look familiar. We're from an ocean very far away. Yup, yup, we came to find the keyhole. The what? What's that? Yup, well, it's a... There's no such thing, certainly not here. But, Daddy... Ariel, not another word. You are not to leave the palace. Is that clear? Perhaps I'm being too strict. I'm just concerned for her safety. Of course, Your Majesty. But I must admit, now I'm quite curious about this keyhole. That need not concern you, Sebastian. Have you anything to report? Just as you suspected, Your Majesty, they seem to be coming from Ursula's Grotto. I knew it. That sea witch is up to no good again. I see exile from the palace has taught her nothing. Yes, she poses serious danger. And I told you to keep Ariel away from such danger, did I not? Your Majesty, please, I... Sebastian about to get a whooping. I love how he says don't leave the palace and then doesn't do anything as she leaves the palace. I, it's like, come on, what are you wasting time here? All right, so it seems that, uh, I feel like Triton doesn't know, doesn't, isn't letting all up, or is, what am I trying to say? I don't know, he feel, I feel like he's hiding something about the keyhole because he just suddenly burst out with it. How would he know if it wasn't here, if he knew it was here? Get it? Come to my grotto, I want to show you something. There it is, see? Alright, so... Apparently Ariel gives zero fucks about... Her father's order, so let's head into her grotto! Look at all the wonderful things Flounder and I collected. I think it's all from the outside world. Someday I'm going to see what's out there. I want to see other worlds. Does that sound strange? No, not at all. I used to feel the same way. Used to? I mean, I still do. Hey, why don't we try looking for that keyhole you were talking about? But your father said... Oh, he treats me like a little girl. He never wants to let me do anything. He just... he just doesn't understand. All right, so there are several treasure chests here we can find. Uh, let's see, I'll lock onto some of them here. All right, there's a mega potion. All right, what else is there? We can hit this for item, I think, or just some magic. Wait, what was that? What did I lock onto that for? Can I examine it? Yep. All right, I guess it just spins. All right. I'm not, I don't want to lock on the flounder. There we go. Alright, so this music is actually really peaceful. I really like it. I don't know why I just got my voice all deep there. Alright. Uh, there's that. Come on. Oh, come on. There, examine it. Oh, another torn page. Excellent. Alright, we're still locked on the flounder. Alright, where else can we lock on to? I guess everything down there. I guess we've got everything. Interesting. Oh, there's another barrel over here. Smack that. It didn't even give us nothing. Alright, there's some things we can examine. I think... Can we examine this or can we just hit it? Yeah, we can just hit it. Can we hit that? Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of interactivity things here, but... I mean, you really can't do anything with them. They don't give you anything. So, let's go ahead and examine. Can we examine this yet? No? Let's talk to Flounder then. There's this really big fish who can swim against the current, but he's scared off. He's scared of those weird things swimming around. So if we chase them away, I think the big fish will play with us. Maybe if you grab onto him, he'll take you somewhere. Oh, and Sebastian's nowhere to be found. 
Alright, so nothing to do in here. Let's just go ahead and leave. will never find the keyhole. But the girl could prove useful, and I've got a heartless <laughs> on my side. Triton, my old friend. <laughs> Your day is coming. <laughs> All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and pretty much start out our search for the keyhole or things of that nature. And this is where things get kind of confusing because you have no idea where to go, what to do. So basically, you just gotta explore a little bit. And honestly, I get still confused here. So if I, you know, have to cut because I forget where to go, please pardon me. Um, I really love this game, but I don't pretend to be an expert on it, or at least the the finer things like what you do in the worlds. I may be uh, pretty intelligent when it comes to the lore of the, or the mythos of the world, but. So, let's go ahead and see where we can go. Um, there's this, there's the fish guy. Oh, what we have to do is we have to defeat all of the heartless, so the fish guy will follow us. Because that was the, that fish that's floating around there is the fish that, uh, what's his face talking about? Flounder was talking about. And it will, oh come on, there we go. It will take us to the next area that we need to go to, but because it's scared of the Heartless, it will just keep swimming around, so. We need to defeat all of them, and it can be kind of a pain, especially with these ones, because these ones turn into three Heartless after you defeat them. I think it's like every other one, so. There, see, that one didn't, but. Sorry about that, but the other one um, probably will. Let's see, I bet it will. Here, I'm actually really liking this critical hit uh, uh, other guy. See there, watch. Turns into three of them, or like five of them, geez. So yeah, it's uh, not very good. I'm actually really liking this uh, this Wishing Star critical hit Keyblade. That every, every final hit of a combo is a critical hit. It's, it's pretty helpful because, I mean, you do your standard damage, but then you get a critical hit at the end, so it's like, oh, pretty neat. All right, where are you swimming to, buddy? All right, and we can go ahead and use Blizzard and kill him. All right, so that should be it. All right, where is that fish? Let's swim with him. Either he takes it to us or follows us. Let's go ahead and swim on him. And where will he take us? Nowhere. All right, so jump off. And, oh crap. Ah. All right, if we go ahead and hit this shell open, we'll get uh, uh, an item, I think. Oh, what are you doing? Oh, it disappeared because a new Heartless appear. Are you kidding me? Get out of here. At least that one give us a Frost Gem. All right, we'll go ahead and hit this. And it'll give us an item. And you'll find different seashells or clams or whatever all around, and they'll do that. All right, so let's head back this way. Um, and so they'll do that. Some of them are different color, you have to cast a different magic spell on them. Um, but they close after, like, each return. So you sit there and you're like, please let me, uh, let me open and get an item, and there's nothing there. So you, you get mad, so... Just fair warning. Fair warning. Alright, so see, this guy is following us, and he's followed us down that path there. So what we need to do is... Follow him, him, but after we defeat all these Heartless. All right, so they're all defeated, and so now we can head this way and head out here to the Undersea Valley, which I believe is the place just after where we uh, came from, where we, we spawned, basically, and landed in the world. All right, so I have to defeat... You can, I think you can just see him. Where is he? He's somewhere around here. We'll see him floating around. This place is so big that... Or this, uh, this I should say, area is so big that you can get you can lose track of him but he followed us here so he is definitely here all right so oh i was trying to time it so all those got hit sucks all right so i feel like i'm really kind of experiencing the the you know negative effects of having this short reach keyblade cuz i feel like i should be hitting things that i'm not and i feel like that's what 
is the cause, but I'm sticking to this use every keyblade thing, so I guess I, I guess I gotta. Oh, come on. Alright. Destroy these guys. And destroy these guys. Ah, this guy. And there should be one more here. Oh, I missed. This freaking goofy hit him out of my range. Alright, so let's stay still and we should see the dolphin somewhere around here. Or the shark or whatever. There he is. Aw, oh, but see, we can't grab onto him until all the Heartless are defeated, so... Alright, I actually defeated him all this time, and we actually learned a uh, treasure magnet while I was doing that. So I went ahead and equipped it, because this place drops a lot of treasure. So come here, quick, before our Heartless show up. Come here, come here, grab on, there we go. And this time, this guy should take us to where we need to be going, which is against the current into the calm depths. And from the calm depths, we just passed the entrance to Triton's Palace, so we can only get to this place with this guy. So we're going to enter into the sunken ship. Alright, so here at the sunken ship, be careful because uh, Heartless will appear here eventually. I went ahead into the sunken ship, and let's see, where is the entrance? There is there one right Yeah, here it is. Get this treasure. Oh crap! You totally missed us. You are a retarded shark. You are not smart at all. Alright. So let's go ahead and open up. Hmm, its shape reminds me of something. We got the crystal trident. Let's come over here, actually. Some more stuff. There's some uh, crates and stuff. You can break. And some barrels. I think there's some more items down here you can break. There's a ton of magic. There you go. And see why that's why treasure magnets uh, helpful. Alright, there's a mithril shard. And we can go ahead and break this guy again also. Break him again, I mean the first time. Where am I locked onto? Am I locked onto something below? Uh, I guess not. There should be a treasure down here or something. Yeah, there we go. A clamshell. It's weird that no music's playing. It sort of makes it awkward because you only hear my beautiful voice. Alright, let's head back up. What am I locked onto over here? Is there another treasure chest over here? No, it's a barrel. Alright. Break that. And that should be it. Yep, alright, so let's go ahead and head out side of the ship. And instantly, there's a treasure chest below, actually. Weird. And it's weird that music still isn't playing. There we go. There's the shark, Mr. Shark. You're gonna have to fight this shark. He sort of is like Saber in uh, in Tarzan. He's just, you know, a little, an enemy to fight. He'll appear in random areas, sometimes instead of, and sometimes in the, with the addition of Heartless. So you want to be careful. He's really not that hard. Uh, you want to, you really want to be careful though, because sometimes his attacks don't cancel yours, so he'll attack you while you're attacking him. And you'll get really low on HP really quickly and you won't notice. But there we go. Dropped him. And he should swim off. And he craps his pants and gives us an ether and a high potion. Alright. Well, he's not wearing pants, but... Alright, so I'm going to head over here. It's something to keep note of. Is you come over here and you'll notice that there's a, a thing you can examine. Hit examine. Huh? What is that thing? If only I could reach it. So you can't reach this thing. So you want to keep this in mind for later. Just... Just keep it in mind. But now that we have the crystal trident, we can actually head over to the... Oh, another treasure chest! Elixir! Yay! We can actually head to our the Ariel's Grotto, because that's where the thing matched the, the shape. Yeah. But we're going to do that next time on Let's Play Kingdom Hearts Final Mix. So, thank you all for watching this episode. And next time, we'll do exactly what I just said. Have a fantastic day, everyone, and stay frosty. Stay frosty.